is going to be this one. Oops. Delete. So, there you go. Now what we have is an entirely different setup. This is quite a mess. This time, we have mean and alternating stresses in 6 seconds. We have all kinds of mean stresses and alternating stresses. Okay? So, our first task for this is to identify the different kinds of cycles. The first kind of cycle is this. Okay, there is no other, there is no other thing with that kind of cycle. Okay, our second kind of cycle is this. And there is one more here. The third kind of cycle is this. Let us pick a different color. And then our fourth kind of cycle is this guy. There are four different cycles. So, let us look at through that and we will figure out what these things are. Okay, so let's make sure we know how to compute all those four things. So we will uh, try to find out. So our idea is that there are four kinds of cycles, and we're going to compute for each side of the cycle one, type one. Sorry, let me change that color, black, type one. Sigma a equals. Let's see, it goes from about. 150 to about 25. Okay, so minus 25. So the total alternating amp stress amplitude will be 175. 175 divided by 2, which turns out to be roughly about uh, 8 to so 16, 8, 15, um, 16. So 88 megapascals sigma mean equals average is around here the difference between those two things the maximum is 120 150 the minimum is 100, is minus 25 so the average will be uh, 150 minus 25 divided by 2 which turns out to be this is 150 plus 25 divided by 2 so this is sigma mean turns out to be 125 over 2 which is um, 63 megapascals at this level let's see if there's any uh, if if there's any life at this level okay so our first point by the way instead of moving this up and down i'm going to redraw the graph so that we can see this so remember our graph looked like this, right? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 450 was here, 190 was here, and we had two graphs, 500 is there, so that's line number one, line number two, and now let's look at this one. 88 MPA is somewhere here and 63 MPA is way up here. Absolutely safe. So as far as damage goes, this thing can be completely ignored. It will not cause any damage and as far as the cycles go, according to us, anyway it will last forever. 
how about the red stuff how about this one now this is at quite a bit more the amplitude goes up to 200 so that's the amplitude right and the mean is here right the mean is about 75 so the next case case 2 sigma mean is 75 sigma alternating is let's see bottom is still 25 bottom is still 25 and the top is at 200 and minus 25 and the top is 225 so sigma alternating is 225 plus 25 divided by 2 that is 125 so that's going to be here that's okay too so we don't have to worry about this either none of these things will cause damage anything that's here has infinite life and will not cause any damage now let's look at this big one so case 3 sigma mean is uh, what is that how much is that oh, 1 2 uh, let's see 350 oof, 100 so 350 100 450 divided by 2 so 350 minus 100 250 divided by 2 this is 125 sigma alternating is 400 and 450 divided by 2 which is 225 now this is here so there will be some finite life we will compute how much life is there for that and then number 4 so let us compute the life for item 3 so I'm going to call this N3. For that first thing I do is I compute sigma A prime. So for this I compute sigma A prime. I will show you what I mean. So for this one I have to compute that point sigma a prime and that's easy to compute sigma a prime equal to sigma a divided by 1 minus sigma m over sigma ut which turns out to be 225 divided by 1 minus 125 divided by 500 which turns out to be how much is that let us see let us see that will be 225 divided by 1 minus um, sigma m sigma m was 125 divided by sigma ut 500 oops i got to put equal to that So sigma a prime is 300 megapascals. What does it mean? What does sigma a prime equal to 300 megapascals mean? That means that corresponding to if the part were to cycle forever at sigma mean equal to 125, sigma a equal to 225, it will have a life of which is the same as running at sigma a prime is 300 mpa how much is that life we know how to do that n equals 
sigma a prime divided by s f to the power 1 over b times a thousand which turns out to be how much is that 300 divided by 450 to the power 1 over b 